in this video we are going to give you a quick overview of how to use Coffee Distributing Corp's online ordering site. Please email us at webhelp at cdccoffee.com for access to the site or if you have any additional questions about how to use the site. We're going to start on CDC's online ordering homepage, which is shop.cdccoffee.com. Click the login button and enter your email address and password. Note that your company may have multiple users of the site and each user can have their own login. This gives each user the ability to have their own customized shopping list, which is a nice feature. Once you're logged in, there are five methods to search for products to add to your order. There's the search box in the upper right hand corner. There's the category tree on the left hand side. And there's the quick shop menu, which has three additional options, my shopping list, my quoted items, my online order history. The quick shop menu with these three items is the suggested place to go, especially for new users. We're going to start by looking at the My Quoted Items list. This screen is most similar to how CDC's old website works. It shows you all products that CDC has quoted to your account. If you see an item that you would like to add to your order, choose the case count in the drop down box. Most items can be ordered either by the case or the unit. And then select your quantity and add to cart. Some items, like Diet Coke here, only have one sellable case conversion, which is a full case. But again, you can specify your quantity and add to cart. Note that this list of quoted items may be an exceptionally long list of products. In this case, there are three pages of products. You can also click View All Items. If this list is too long for you to manage, a better option may be the My Shopping List option, which is the second method that we're going to review. Shopping lists are a great feature that give each user the ability to customize their own list. So whereas the quoted items list was everything that CDC has quoted to your account, My Shopping List gives the user the ability at any time to add or remove products, and you can even build multiple shopping lists. For example, if you order milk once a week, but you only order coffee once a month, you may want to build two different shopping lists, one for milk and one for coffee. That way you can quickly find the products, build your order, and move on with your day. In this example, this account has one shopping list currently built called Snacks. I'm going to click on that. And you see it looks very similar to the previous screen, but the items are different. These are items that I have specified to be on this shopping list for this account. Again, choose a case conversion. Choose a quantity, add to cart. The shopping list gives you the ability to default a case conversion at a quantity to make ordering easier. If I know I usually order Raisin Bran one case at a time, I can default the number one here. So when you come to this screen, you just click add to cart. But if you'd like, you can also change the quantity to a different quantity before you add to cart. The third method in the Quick Shop menu is My Online Order History. This gives you the ability to reorder a product that you've recently ordered. On this screen, I see all the recent orders that I've placed on this account. I can click on one, see the items that I ordered, and quickly enter a quantity, six cases, and click reorder. Note that no matter where I'm ordering from, I'm adding items to my shopping cart here. And on the checkout screen, all the items that I've added so far are being populated. I can always continue shopping. I'm not forced to check out at this point. The fourth method is the search box up here. You can search by product code or by description. So if I type in the word Sprite, I'm going to find all the items that have Sprite in the description or in the product code. The fourth method is the product tree, category tree here. Note by hovering over a category, I see the subcategories. 
and then some subcategories have additional subcategories within them. For instance, in the coffee category, if I hover over Flavia, I can go to the Altera subcategory. This will show me all of the Altera coffees that are available. Note that many categories have dozens or even hundreds of products, but this is a good way to browse and see what's available. CDC carries thousands of products. Again, choose your case conversion and your quantity and add to cart. Note that on any of these screens, if you choose quantities for multiple products, you, you only have to click add to cart once and both of these items will be added to the cart. The green check mark indicates the item has been added to the cart. Also note that this product here has an out of stock flag. A nice feature of this website is that you can click this button to request stock notification. This will generate an email to you automatically once this product is available. Once you're done building your order, you can scroll back to the top and click the checkout button. Again, you're not checked out yet. This screen gives you the ability to review the products that you've placed in your shopping cart. You can delete any product that you decided you no longer want. You can click the quantity and change the quantity and click update to update your order. And once all of the products and quantities look correct, scroll all the way down this screen and click proceed to checkout. You're still not done yet. There's one more step. On this screen, you have the ability optionally to enter a purchase order number if that applies to your business. Otherwise, leave it blank. And again, you have the ability optionally to enter comments. Any comments here will generate a note to our customer service department. You could put a comment if you have problems finding a specific product that you'd like us to add to the order, or if you have special delivery instructions for the driver. Deliver after 11 a.m., for example. Continue scrolling down. This is your last chance to review the products on the order. The prices are accurate. This is your subtotal. Note that taxes, deposits for beverages, and Delivery charges will be added after the order is placed and downloads into our system. And click Place My Order to transmit this order to CDC. Once you click Place My Order, an email confirmation is also automatically sent to your account. Optionally, we can set up your account to CC those order confirmations automatically to additional users if you'd like. Please let us know if that's an option you're interested in. And please review that order confirmation right away. Because you do have a chance, if you see something wrong, you want to make a change to your order, to email us and we can make those changes for you. But note, if we don't hear from you pretty soon, we're going to start packing that order, load it on the truck, and get it delivered out to you. That concludes this web demo. Again, if you have any additional questions or require one-on-one -on -one help, email us at webhelp at cdccoffee.com. We're here to help. Thank you.